pharynxes. Pharynxes are fabulous. So we did look at this image already, but I just blew it up a little bit bigger so that we could really see the distinguishing parts. Now the fact is we already did the oral cavity, right? And we sort of colored it in, um, I actually can't remember what color we colored it, but let's just um, color it. This was my oral cavity. And the oral cavity um, was inferior to the hard palate and the soft palate. So uh, you notice those guys right about, right about her. Hard palate, okay, and then uvula slash soft palate. Maybe we should do a different color of greenish right here. Okay, so that was the uvula. Okay, so a pharynx, let's define this puppy. A pharynx is, a space, ah, spaces are usually defined by structures. They don't just float in nothingness. So there's anatomical structure surrounding the space and defining it, but it's still a space that food and air passes through. So think about that for a minute. Food involves what system? The digestive system. And air, what system are we talking about? We're talking about the respiratory system. And we are going to spend one more day on digestive system, but then we're going to do the respiratory system. And so we're going to have structures when we're talking about digestion that are also respiratory. Those are our pharynxes. So the nasal cavity, I think we already defined that. Yes, this was the nasal cavity. I actually can't remember if we defined this or not. Nasal cavity is superior to the hard palate. The nasal pharynx is superior to the soft palate. So if you look at this right here, and the nasal pharynx goes from the, um, I just want to make sure, yeah. The uvula is the end of my um, nasal pharynx marker because really the uvula is the end of the soft palate and the nasal pharynx, is associated with the soft palate. If we took the uvula and like stood it up straight, we could actually mark off the nasopharynx. But this whole space back here is the nasopharynx. Now, does anybody want to fight with me about my definition of pharynxes when you look at or think about the nasopharynx? How about the fact that uh, do you put food in your nasal pharynx? Don't. It doesn't, I don't recommend it. It isn't going to feel good if you put food in there. And I'm sure many of you have before had food go in there or at least soda pop or milk. And then, and like, dude, it's just embarrassing and don't. So, Food can go through the nasopharynx, but it's definitely not a first route of choice. Inferior to the nasopharynx is the oropharynx. And the oropharynx goes from the um, end of the uvula or the end of the soft palate to the hyoid bone. And so take a look at this. This right here is my oropharynx. And again, um, let's 
talk about what is the hyoid bone here. So, hmm, maybe that color orange. The hyoid bone is this fabulous bone. Dude, there's so many fabulous structures in your body. You're just fabulous. The hyoid bone floats. It is, it does attach to muscles. Like all of this stuff, just for perspective, is muscly. These are all skeletal muscles, and all this is skeletal muscle, whatever. But it floats. Like it's not actually forming a joint with any other bones in your body. And, you know, I can't ever feel my hyoid bone, but I'm kind of a wimp when it comes to, like, palpating my throat. It just doesn't feel right. So uh, I tend to not, like, get in there and, like, try and grab my hyoid bone. But we can definitely identify the hyoid bone in our half-head cadaver preps and our cadavers. Like, we can definitely identify it. And it marks in the half-head, it marks that place where the oropharynx ends. Inferior to the oropharynx is a structure called the laryngopharynx. And the laryngopharynx goes to the thyroid cartilage. Is that correct? Inferior border of the cricoid cartilage, which is probably going to be right about right about her. So this whole thing is going to be laryngopharynx. And the laryngopharynx is that shared space. It's the last shared space. And then look what happens because you share space for food and water. This is the trachea. Trachea is anterior. You can feel that thing. It's super cartilage-y. And posterior to that is the esophagus. And the esophagus is the next structure that we're going to talk about. So I just tried to color in the esophagus. And let's talk about that esophagus next. Is there anything else I need to tell you? I don't think so.